Hello, in this video I will show you uh, the rest of the properties in RSPI modifier. Uh, I didn't show this uh, properties in previous tutorials. So uh, the first one is this delete uh, fragments check, uh, checkbox. And let's augment our geometry. Set here more fragments. And let's increase center BS. So now we have small fragments and big fragments so uh, using this delete which is on by default uh, you can delete very small fragments and it works in percents relative to original object size so 0.1 means that all fragments less than 0.1 percent from original object size will be deleted so right now you see that there are no deleted object because all of them are big enough even this small fragment uh, but uh, if you will start increases, you will see that start delete this fragment. Let's turn off show point and start to play. So you can see you start delete a very small fragments and moves towards big fragments. So default value is 0 0.1, and it's enough for you to be sure that very small fragments will be deleted. And the reason we added this feature is because sometimes you uh, detach all your fragments into separate geometry and then simply massively select all of them. You don't know which one uh, is small, and, um, so you, you won't need even to simulate them, you won't even see them. And you just massively select all of them and send to simulation. So, uh, and you, don't, and you complete, completely don't, don't need to simulate such small objects, sometimes they might. Uh, because your simulation will even be unstable. So when this checkbox is on, you can be sure that very small fragments will be deleted and you won't, you won't have these very, very small fragments. And the next one is um, check this cup before fragmenting feature. And what it allows you to do is uh, let me change the size of this box. Okay, let's turn it off. So here's your box. Let's apply edit poly. Just a simple show how it works. So sometimes you may have geometry with open edge, and uh, you won't even know about these open edges. And if you will try to fragment your geometry with uh, property off, you will get some weird results since you are trying to fragment geometry which is simply don't have any volume. And when this cup before fragmenting checkbox is on, you can be sure that uh, it will actually cup this uh, hole and then start fragmentation. So uh, it's, uh, I suggest you to use have this uh, checkbox always on since uh, you don't know if there are any open edges. So uh, when it's on, it always will cup all open edges and then fragment geometry. So it will get proper results. Another property, next property is delete collinear vertices. And this feature is all by default uh, because in visual effects it, uh, it's not so useful for visual effects, it's more useful for uh, game developers. And uh, to show you uh, the difference, uh, let me add this uh, edit poly modifier, go to vertex of object level. So now you can see that there are sometimes there are vertices uh, which you completely don't need like this one or this one they do not add any detailization like this one or this and uh, for here another one and here's another one they produced by this uh, hidden edge which every mesh has so if you will see you will notice there on the straight line so uh, uh, in game engine you don't need all these unless unneeded vertices because they add uh, unneeded triangles. So just go to Rayfire or not and uh, turn on delete collinear vertices. And as you can see now these vertices are gone. So you have clean fragments. So if you don't need all these uh, additional vertices, just Turn on the lead collinear vertices here. The next property is map size. 
and uh, actually we use we use this marine geometry. So uh, here's my materials. Here I have a simple uh, material which I applied, which I use for this uh, marine right now. And here's another one, this checker with black and red colors. And here's my multi subject material, and it has ID1 for this gray material and ID2 for the checker. So I will apply it to this marine. And uh, right now, all the faces of the marine has material ID1. You can see. And now let's apply a fire Voronoi. fragmented here you can see using the cyber colors fragments and now uh, let's say you want to apply some of this uh, material this checker to the inner faces and what you need to do is set material ID to and uh, obviously you uh, can't see this inner faces since they're inside so uh, this is where you can use uh, the scale property uh, there is also a gap property, but when you use gap, you actually refragment all geometry, so it may take some time if you have a lot of fragments, because it actually slice, re slice geometry from the scratch. And using scale, you can you simply scale your fragments down, and it works in real time. And uh, here, uh, using the scale, you can quickly see what's going on inside your uh, fragmented geometry. So. Um, here, I, as, I, as I said, material ID 2, here's, I set it to 1, and you can see it's uh, the same gray material inside. When you set it to material 2, you start to see this checker, uh, black and, green, black and uh, red checker material. And using this map size, you can play with it, decrease it, and you will start to change the size of the mapping for the inner faces. So uh, this level works in, uh, in real time. So playing with map size, you can get uh, the um, uh, scale you want. And when you're happy, you can set scale back to 100. And again, if you want to create some gaps, you can increase gap property, say 3 centimeters. It will take some time, but it will, will re-slice all geometry. Now this is not this is actual gap. It's not these fragments didn't become smaller. The shape is the same. The original fragment shape is the same. So if you will fragment all, you will see you see all these gaps. And uh, if you will use scale, you actually scale geometry down. Okay. And uh, let me set here scale to 100. And uh, here's the group of explode to object properties. And the with this uh, here with the string, you can define uh, the suffix for uh, separate objects na names. Um, this checkbox delete after explode means that after you explode the object, you will uh, lose it. And if you will uncheck it and start exploding. So here's the fragments, and here your original geometry stays here after exploding to object. And another one is assigned random colors, and again, you can see these fragments have all random colors. And uh, if you will uncheck it and explode again, Here you can see all the fragments have the same wire color as the original one, and uh, all the fragments has this name object and uh, this V suffix and then number ID. And uh, the last one is glued as element checkbox, and uh, I'll show you on this box. It's fragmented.
then let me go by volume. So here you can see that I have only inner area prefragmented and all big fragments glued together using this glue. So if I will explode it right now, let me check the lead and the sign random color. If I will explode right now, here are my fragments and uh, here's the subject. As you can see, it's uh, one solid geometry. And sometimes when you want to simulate such objects using physics engine, it will uh, consider them as concave. And uh, as you know, it can simulate uh, dynamic concave geometry, so you will get unstable simulation. So using this checkbox glued as elements, you can explode the object. So here will be your original, uh, the same object. It's t uh, right now it's uh, again just one object, but will have all the fragments as elements. And in this case, physics will simulate it properly. So uh, I think uh, that's all properties which I didn't mention in the other tutorials. So uh, thank you for watching.